For my digital how-to, I'm going to walk you through how to get on to KidBlog so that you can use it with your students. I used it with my students for our project and they really enjoyed it. So first you Google KidBlog, click on the first link, and then you can sign up for free, click on Teachers. I already have a KidBlog set up that I will show you next, so I'm going to make one up, a fake one now. I already have Mrs. Monka's class one, so this will be Mrs. Monka's class two. You could use any email. I've already used my school one, so I'll use my UNCC one. And I'm just going to call it Mrs. Monka's class two. You put in your verification code. I think those are used. We'll see. And click down here, create class. Give it a second. And once you click that, you will get this notice that says, congratulations. To get started, you can publish your own post and then customize your privacy settings. If you scroll down a little bit, um, they give you a sample post just telling you, welcome to Kid Blog. On my last one, I just kind of got rid of that. And I added a new post welcoming my students to Kid Blog and having them get excited to use it. Up here is where you can post a new post. So you can do your own welcome. So welcome to Kid Blog. And then you can either preview what you wrote, you can save it if you want to save the draft, or you can publish it. So if you publish it, it will be the first blog on here. And anyone who was added to the blog could leave a comment. If you would like to add your class, add your students, you can go right here to add new users and put their name and their password. Keep them in a role as students so when they log in, they will log in under their own name. So now I'll show you my actual kid blog that I used for my classes. I'm just going to go all the way back to give you a better visual. So you hit kid blog again and instead of dealing with anything down here once you've actually made your class you can go up here to log in and then use your email address i'm going to use the one that i used with my class and once you put your email address in it'll ask you to look up your class url and then it'll say select your name so i'm going to select my own name so I can log in as myself, and my password is different than my student's password. Oh, maybe my password is not correct. There we go. Okay, so once I've logged on here, I can kind of see what everybody in the class has been doing. So I have 22 published posts, and my students were publishing what they learned um, after we worked on our prezies the other day. So I can see all the posts and I can check them and I did check them earlier to see if they're appropriate or not and to see if the students followed my direction. So some of my students wrote about um, something they learned about their famous person from the civil rights movement, which is the project we were doing. Some people posted about how they worked well with their group. So that's the part that I can see. If I was a student, I could log back out and I'll click one of my first students. They will click their names, put in their password, log themselves in, and then they can see the post that they completed. So Aaliyah posted a, what, posted a what I learned today. And she also posted a comment to what Brianna learned today and said I didn't know that. So the students can post back and forth with one another like we do in class or they can just kind of post whatever I ask them to do. They can post what the prompt that I ask and they can also comment back with each other. So it's a really fun um, website and it's a really fun blog. My kids enjoy it and it's something that I'd like to integrate more so next year. So I hope this was an easy how-to and that you'll use this in your own classrooms. All right, thanks.